The Cygnathidae is a large and diverse group of seahorses, pipefishes, sea dragons, and pipe horses, all having a tiny mouth at the end of a tubular snout and semi-flexible bodies encased in bony rings. The members of this family lack fin spines and pelvic fins, and other fins may be reduced or absent. They also have a unique reproductive mode, where the female deposits her eggs into an abdominal brood pouch or onto a modified exposed region on the underside of her male partner. The male then incubates and nourishes the developing embryos until they hatch. As these extraordinary cryptic fishes are often ornamented with filaments and other appendages to enhance their excellent camouflage, stay with us as we are looking at 10 of the most beautiful Cygnathids in the world. Number 10. Endemic to Northern Australia, the zebra seahorse is a very beautiful looking species with its coloration that resembles of a zebra. Like all seahorses, this species uses its curled tail as an anchor to keep itself firmly attached with coral or seaweed. First described in 1964, very little is known about this species, but it has been observed that it is uniquely adapted to living among the arms of black and white crinoids or feather stars. Number 9. Found in the subtitle Aquatic Beds of the Bahamas and parts of the United States, the dwarf seahorse is the world's slowest moving fish, with a top speed of about 5 feet 1.5 meters per hour. Growing to an average length of 2 and 2.5 and centimeters, this seahorse has been observed to change color for various reasons, such as camouflage and reaction to an attack. Before 1970, this species was regarded as common. However, Numbers have decreased over subsequent years, most likely due to a reduction in the extent of seagrass beds, pollution, oil spills, and ocean acidification. This has caused it to be classified as vulnerable in 2000 by the IUCN Red List of Threatened Animals, but as of 2016, it is classified as least concern. Number 8 Found in the Indo-Pacific, from Irian Jaya to New Guinea along the northern and western coasts of Australia in tropical coastal reefs and seagrass areas, the ribboned pipe horse or ribboned sea dragon is absolutely amazing to look at. Depending on their habitat, their color range from grayish yellow to brownish red. Ones found in shallow water are mainly greenish yellow, whereas those in deeper water are often caught in trawls, are brown to reddish with an irregular blotched pattern. Number 7. Found in the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers in India and Bangladesh, the rainbow belly pipefish is a fully freshwater species, unlike many other pipefish that tend to have tolerance towards brackish waters as well. During the mating ritual, one can see how beautiful this species is when the female extends her colorful striped sail. Unfortunately, the numbers of this species diminished in the wild over the past decade due to flooding and pollution on their freshwater habitat and is now considered a near-threatened species by the IUCN. Number 6. Found associated with soft corals, the soft coral seahorse is known from only two specimens collected from the Gulf of Suez in the Red Sea at depths of 15 to 30 meters. Although little is known of this species, it is expected to feed on crustaceans, similar to other seahorses and is also expected to be ovoviviparous, with males carrying eggs in a brood pouch before giving birth to live young. Number 5. Found along the southern and western coasts of Australia, the leafy sea dragon's name is derived from the appearance, with long leaf-like protrusions coming from all over the body. However, these protrusions are not used for propulsion, as they serve only as camouflage. The small fins are almost completely transparent and difficult to see as they undulate minutely to move the creature sedately through the water, completing the illusion of floating seaweed. Popularly known as leafies, this beautiful fish is the marine emblem of the state of South Australia and a focus for local marine conservation. Number 4. Native to the Indo-Pacific and Eastern Pacific Oceans, the blue striped pipefish is the smallest of the reef pipefishes available in the aquarium hobby. Despite of its small size and beautiful coloration, 
This species is famous in the hobby to remove parasites from other fishes by setting up cleaning stations near cave and crevice entrances. Number 3. Inhabiting waters around the Coral Triangle including the Philippines, Indonesia, and Northwestern Australia, the yellow-banded pipefish is an active cleaner, feeding off of parasitic crustaceans growing on other fishes. With its spectacular appearance of alternating reddish-brown and yellow bands, this species occasionally makes its way into the aquarium trade, but is protected in Australia under the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act of 1999. Number 2. Endemic to the Pacific coastal waters of Japan, the Sindo's seahorse lives in a wide range of habitats, from shallow high-energy algae reefs to soft-bottom habitats. Reaching a length of 8 centimeters, the specific name of this species honors Michitaro Sindo, who was originally from Yamaguchi and who was assistant curator of fishes at Stanford University. This beautiful little creature was originally listed as vulnerable by the IUCN Red List in 1996 and data deficient in 2003, but was later reclassified as least concern. Number 1. Endemic to Australian waters of the Eastern Indian Ocean, Southern Ocean and the Southwestern Pacific Ocean, the common sea dragon or weedy sea dragon is absolutely stunning with its yellow body completed with reddish and purple markings. As beautiful as they seem, it is illegal to take or export these species in most of the states within which they occur. Monitoring of populations may provide indications of local water quality and sea dragons could also become an important flagship species for the often overlooked richness of the unique flora and fauna of Australia's south coast. 